All right, everyone, welcome to this section. Uh, we are here in Server Administration Lab course, and today we will be basically talking about how to configure ESXi storage and ISO files. So let's go ahead and log into our client, or sorry, our host. So I'm gonna put my IP address, my username and password, Okay, so we are in our host, which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and open it, and as you guys can see, there are already something installed. Uh, what I'm gonna show you guys is how to do this um, if you're basically building it from scratch. The first thing I wanna show you guys is when you install your host, uh, you will see um, probably one hard drive uh, or hard disk. So let's do that. Um, you go to configuration and then click on storage. In storage you might see data store one only so you need to add other hard disk that is on your server so maybe you have two you may maybe you have three or you maybe just went there and plugged it in so you need to add it because you would need all these uh, space uh, for your operating system so what we need to do is this uh, you will see only one the one that you just installed to add this one you need to add storage here click on add and then basically the first option and click next and you will see it right here click on it next 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 give it a name and then finish it and then once you finish it you will see data store 2 over here now at this point we can use it and to install other um, systems so that we uh, can take a advantage of the more space so that is how you need to add your storage now how do you add ISO files because you would need those ISO files to uh, um, to install Windows Server and Linux stuff like that um, so number one you are actually logging into this system from your own uh, computer maybe you're using Windows 7 Windows 8 so basically you just open your browser and once you open your browser you need to what do you want to download the first thing is that what do you want to do is most cases you would be um, getting ISO from internet right so that's going to be happening on this computer so you can easily uh, go to your web browser and let's say for example you want to get the ISO file uh, on on that server um, how do you get it uh, you can get it for 120 days from Microsoft so uh, you need a Microsoft account to download the ISO files or uh, like I said you get you can get our labs and you won't need to worry about this step so to do that you basically need to log into Microsoft you need to go to Google all right you need to go to Google and you'll type Windows uh, Server 2012 or 2 ISO download so when you do that, the first link right here, try Windows 2012 R2, two, when you click on that, you basically need to log into your Microsoft account. You can use Outlook Live or Hotmail account to log into this. And once you log in, they will ask you a few questions like you need to um, accept and some give out some little information. And then when you click everything, you will get a file. It's called ISO files. You need to basically download that file. All right, as you guys can see right here, 180 days, and then you can sign in with the account. And once you sign in, you basically download the ISO file. So as you can see, I just downloaded. Uh, sorry, I just signed in. And when you click on the ISO right here, you click on register to continue. You do that, and then basically, you'll click on continue right here. And here you'll pick English. And when you scroll down you click on continue and this is where you will get this uh, file right here which is pretty big now that's uh, how you get the ISO file when you download it it's gonna be on your computer which is you're, you're using that computer to log into the system right so but once you download it the other part is that how do you get it to that host that's the question right here to get it to the, the host, you need to use your data store or whatever you named here. These are your hard disks. Remember, we just added it. So you need to add it. And then the other thing you need to make sure is which one is the best one for you. So maybe you installed your host system and you don't have too much space. So you don't want to mess with this one then. Maybe you have 
a lot of space on the second one that you want to use for your training so you can right click here you'll browse data store and basically you'll just find that ISO on this computer that this is a different computer I'm talking about my client system that I'm using basically Windows 7 Windows 8 so wherever you downloaded it you need to basically go there and upload it to this area right here which I already did it so I'm not gonna do that so basically you click on upload right here it will open upload file you need you click on that and then you pick that download you click on it and basically you will see like some type of um, little uploader and you'll wait for a minute or two and then you will see it right here as you guys can see I have Zential I have Ubuntu which is 1 GB this is 4 GB as you guys can see right here so I already did that and you will see it right here now from here on you can start basically uh, creating your virtual machines and things like that so this is what we are going to cover in our other video uh, which is we basically we're going to be talking about how to install Windows 2012 server and our installation of this one so next video we will cover this thank you so much for watching this video see you guys in video for section install windows 2012 server or 2